Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, okay, today uh, let's talk a bit about uh, tummy tuck surgery. Now, uh, tummy tuck, or what we call as abdominal plasty, uh, is one of the surgical procedures that is uh, very popularly done uh, by plastic surgeons. Now, as uh, the name implies, tummy tucks means uh, we actually tuck the tummy. You know, like when we do bed sheets in the morning. So, we tuck the bed sheets to the edge of the bed, so it becomes very tight. So, the same concept is uh, like tummy tuck surgery, whereby what uh, we do is, you know, the excess abdomen skin, so we can actually remove it and make it very tight. Now, before we talk about tummy tuck surgery, let talk, let us uh, discuss a bit about how uh, or why do women or men get the flabby tummy, right? Now, flabby tummy or the excess skin and adipose tissue in the abdomen happens after the abdomen was stretched. And this usually take years uh, for it to happen. For a man and for ladies, usually this is because of uh, it can be because of the increase in the girth of the abdomen because of obesity and uh, for ladies uh, usually it can also happen because of pregnancy so multiple pregnancy can cause the abdomen to become stretched and once the babies are delivered the stretch will actually uh, remains it will reduce a bit but then it will remains uh, this is what we call as a principle of tissue expansion the other thing is for ladies, sometimes once you have delivered ma many times, maybe after uh, the third or fourth pregnancy, your rectus abdominis muscle in the abdomen also becomes lax in the midline. And because of this, the content of the bowel, content of the bowel and all the intra-abdominal organs will push the muscle outside. So you get what we call as uh, a round tummy. All right? Now, when uh, we talk about tummy tuck surgery or abdominoplasty, abdominoplasty and tummy tuck surgery can be divided into two. One is what we call as uh, full tummy tuck or full abdominoplasty and the other one is what we call as a mini tummy tuck or mini abdominoplasty. So what are the difference? Full abdominoplasty means we need to remove amount the excess of the skin and then we move the umbilicus up to a new position and this is what we call as a creation of a new umbilicus. Whereas a mini abdominoplasty is you remove the just the lower part of the abdomen and you make uh, the, remove the excess skin and you tighten up the abdomen without moving the umbilicus. Now, what are the complications of tummy tuck surgery? Now, tummy tuck surgery is uh, like any other surgical procedures carries a risk of surgeries itself and also as a risk of the general anesthesia or the anesthetic drugs. Now, for the uh, surgery itself, you have a risk of bleeding, infection, injury to the organs, and also you have uh, uh, the risk where the umbilicus that you move might not survive. Now, because of all these, uh, the surgeons usually will discuss uh, with the patient in detail what are the steps that we are going to take, and then what are the risks and the complications and for all the risks and complications, uh, the surgeons should be able to identify uh, what are the factors that they can uh, aggravate this risk. And because of the understanding of these factors, they, they can be actually monitored and we can try to reduce or minimize the risk as much as possible. What about the, uh, the outcome of the surgery? Usually, tummy tuck surgery is one of the procedures where patients are very happy and the result can last a very long time so it's unlikely for you to get back the abdomen the flabby abdomen unless you are pregnant again four to five times even one or two times pregnancy also you still maintain the result of the tummy tuck surgery and as for men also i got a lot of patients that ask for tummy tuck surgery or abdominoplasty for men now for men usually the reason is because of excessive weight loss so sometimes they lose about 20 to 30 kilo you know after they underwent bariatric surgery and all that and because of this they have flabby abdomen as well the difference is for men usually the rectus abdominis is not lax and we can just remove the skin only. what are the selection criteria what type of patients usually we actually be very careful when we want to do number one for me i will look into the stable weight loss of course patient must have a weight or if uh, the weight is stable for three to six months there is no more ongoing active weight loss and the patient must be healthy in the sense that if they have any med medical comorbidities like hypertension diabetes or any other medical problem this needs to be optimized first 
And number three, patient who is a smoker. If patient is a smoker, you must be very careful. Because sometimes smoker, they can disturb the process of healing and patient can get things like a poor wound healing, wound breakdown, dehiscence, infection, seroma. And number four, the patients must also understand that the need for them to be actively involved in the healing process. So patient needs to be eating healthily, get good enough sleep, exercise, drink plenty of water, follow all the doctor's advice. And having said all this, uh, inshallah the recovery will be very smooth and fast and most of my patients are very happy with the result. Thank you.